everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all really well today's video is going to be lots of different inexpensive gift ideas so a lot of items that i've been collecting and showing in my hauls are from poundland and home bargains and b&m mostly poundland this video is going to be based on but i thought i would just share with you some really inexpensive gifts none of them really cost more than five pound these are the kind of gifts that are perfect for secret santas or teacher gifts stocking fillers i mean a lot of them are just ways of giving something and I think that they look a lot more expensive than they are so I'm going to show you exactly how to make loads of inexpensive presents for Christmas so I will get straight into the video the first gift is this men's gift box that I've put together so this square gift box is one pound from Poundland and I am just going to fill it with some tissue which you can get big packs of for around a pound and I just used half a sheet of this The first item is this candle and this came as a set of three from Poundland and I just think they look really luxury and expensive. And I am then just going to take this beard gift set that cost only $1.99 from Home Bargains. I thought this was a real complete bargain. And I'm just taking out all of the packaging. I think things look so much more expensive when you take away all the cardboard and plastic sometimes and these look again like they could be much more expensive than they are. I'm now adding this lavender pillow spray, this was a pound from Poundland. So the total as well as the box so far is around five pound. And lastly I'm taking this box of Turkish Delight and taking it out of the packaging and putting half of it into an icing piping bag which I think are really good for putting sweets and things in them and again I got them from Poundland I got 20 in a pack for a pound and then using some of this twine which again was from Poundland and a gift tag that I just printed off the internet for free and I think now the Turkish Delight looks like something that you could have picked up from a lovely food market or some posh sweet shop but it's only cost me around 55p to put together so this box comes in at around £5.60 but I think it looks like you could have paid a lot more. The next gift idea is this pamper box. So I am just reusing this glossy box that I've kept and I plan to either paint over the logo or stick a Christmassy picture over it or this decoration and yeah I think it'll make a really good gift box. I think it is just worth having a look around sometimes around the house just to see what you can use for different gift boxes. You could use all sorts of things. You could cover up a cardboard box with some wrapping paper which would be really inexpensive. I've just put in some more of the tissue and then this bath bomb that I picked up from Poundland which was a pound and then I got these bath fizzes from Poundland again. Again, but I've taken them out of the packaging and put them into one of these mason jars that you can buy for around 60p I believe. I have then just stuck some of this napkin to the top of the lid just to make it look a bit prettier and I just had some off cuts of ribbon so I tied a bow around the top and I think it looks so much better out of the packaging into one of these cute little jars and then obviously the person that you're gifting it to can also reuse the jar. And then I'm just going to put in this body lotion, the shimmer body lotion that was again from Poundland. And this rescue oil, I really like this. This is a lot like bio oil and this was a pound again. And then just putting in a couple of chocolates. These were a pack of eight from Poundland so I've just taken two of them out and that is around 50p for two. And then I also bought a multi-pack of face cloths so that works out about 50p for one of these gorgeous Egyptian cotton cloths. And there we go, another gift done. The total of this one comes to around £5.70, call it £6 with all the little extras, the tissue paper and things, but definitely no more than £6. And I think that is a gorgeous little gift for someone. The next gift that I put together that I thought would be great for any baking fans is this baking kilner jar. So I've got one of these jars, this is one that I already had actually but I got it from Poundland a little while back and it was around £2 and then into that I'm just going to put in some cookie cutters that I got for a pound. And then I picked up a pack of the cake cases that were a pound for a hundred and I've just taken a few of those out to put into the jar. I also printed off a recipe, I think it's really nice if you include things like recipe cards in here for them to have a go at. This cute little mini rolling pin was £1, this was actually off eBay. 
And then this timer that again was from Poundland for a pound. And I just think you can customize this any way you want. Put little baking things in, sprinkles. And I've just put in a couple of writing icings there. And then on the lid, I thought I'd just add something that wouldn't fit inside and I think looks cute on the outside is this whisk that again was from Poundland. And then the gingerbread man is actually part of a Christmas decoration from Home Bargains. It was this garland, there was loads of gingerbread men on it, that it was a pound garland, but I have just taken off one of the gingerbread men and used it for a decoration. And I think all of these make really cute little things that you can just tie onto gifts and it just makes a lovely little accessory on the jar. So this was my most pricey one to do actually. This came to £6.80, but obviously you can change it up however you want, depending on your budget, but I think it is a really lovely little gift. The next gift that I thought I would do is one for coffee lovers. So again, using one of the Poundland gift boxes, I have added in loads of different things that are related to coffee basically. So we've got coffee syrup that is a pound from Home Bargains. Some of this, Cinnamon that actually comes as a set of different coffee toppers and I've just taken them out of the packaging again and again with these single sachets of coffee I've just taken them out of a pound box where you get about eight coffees in there and then just added a few to here if you know the person's coffee machine if they have a certain kind of coffee machine you could add in some of the pods that their machine takes if your budget is a little bit higher you could add in a gift card for their favorite coffee shop this is a great one if you've got a few people to do this for so say for teacher gifts you could just buy packs of coffee and split them between the different gift boxes. I've then just added a couple of packs of biscuits that I took out of a multi-pack and a little pattern for the top of the coffee. And there we go, a really inexpensive gift. I think this came to around four pounds. And if you've already got some of these yourself in your cupboards at home, then why not add them into the gift just to make it even more cost effective. The next gift is a home fragrance gift set. So I have got this box that I've just picked up again from Poundland that was a pound. And I put in a few napkins in the bottom of this. I do find that with packs of napkins, I can easily have a few left over that are a little bit useless for anything. So I've just put some in the bottom of the box. I have then added in two more of the candles. Like I say, from the first box, they were a three set of candles for three pounds. So I've got two candles in there. I've also got in this room fragrance spray that was from Poundland that I think looks really expensive, but it was only a pound. It's quite similar packaging to Jo Malone. I am then just adding these one pound scented oils to the box that were again from Poundland. Again, just taking them out of the packaging just because I think it looks a lot better and fits nicer in the box. I've also got these wax melts from Poundland that I again out of the packaging into one of the icing bags and then I'm just tying that up and putting a gift tag on it with some of the twine that I got again from Poundland. And I think that looks like it is just, I just think it looks so much nicer out of the packaging. It looks a lot more homemade. So this gift comes in at around £6.30. It is a great one, especially if you don't know what to get somebody, then getting a gift for the home is always a winner. So I think, yeah, that is a great one for anyone. So this next gift only comes to around £2 to make. I printed off some of these Have a Sweet Christmas labels that I just got off Pinterest for free and attached them to one of these jars that was a pound from Poundland. This is going to be like a little small gift set. So I've put in some of these little Hershey bars that came in a big pack. So just put a few of those in and then some Lotus biscuits that are already wrapped. I then got a bag of marshmallows and just portioned them out into, again, the piping bags. And that is pretty much it. It is a little small gift set. I think it is a really cute little gift for anyone, to be honest. Everybody would enjoy that. And I've just added on some of the coloured twine and another label, again, that I printed off the internet. And I think that is a really cute little stocking filler, a really cute little, just a little gesture for Christmas if you want to just give somebody something. And it only came to £2. The next couple of gift ideas that I want to share are just really inexpensive, quick ones that are either good add-ons for things or just, again, little presents on their own. 
So I got a pack of bath salts from Poundland and added it to this jar that was two pounds. I also added one of these little body scrubbers onto the front that was a pack of three and I've just taken one out of the pack and attached it to the front of the jar and printed off this little bath salts label and that comes to around three pounds thirty for this gift and I think that is a really lovely one especially if you just want to add it into other things that you're getting someone and then lastly this is a really cute idea it is this little pot of gold so it is just a mason jar filled with chocolate coins all gold things and then you can put in some scratch cards and it is just a little pot of good luck for somebody that is all my little gift ideas. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas if you are looking for inexpensive little hampers and jars and gift boxes to do for somebody this Christmas. And I would love it if you hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and gave it a big thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it. And I will see you again for my next one. Bye everyone.